And then we get Mary's great song, the Magnificat, verses 46 to 55 of Luke chapter 1, which, as I said before, is regularly sung in Christian churches all over the world, which is the more interesting because often Christian churches that sing this song, I don't think necessarily take it all that seriously in terms of God routing the arrogant through their own cunning, hurling the rulers down from their throne and raising up the humble from the earth. This is the message which Mary sees. And what we find in this song is all those great prophecies in the Psalms, in Isaiah and the other prophets of God putting the world right, of God confronting a world full of arrogance and power and wealth and carelessness and, and brutality and God turning it all the right way up. And Mary says, that's what's going to happen through this extraordinary event of me having this son and my cousin Elizabeth having her son. They have no idea how this is gonna work out, but that's the dream. So what God is doing through the spirit and power is fulfilling the covenant with Abraham. Verse 55, just as he said to our long ago ancestors, Abraham and his descendants forever. Luke wants his readers to know, he wants the whole Roman world to know that what is happening in Jesus is not some weird, vaguely spiritual or religious event. It is the long fulfillment of Israel's story, the story which began in Genesis 12, when God called Abraham a childless nomad and said, through you and your descendants, all the families of the earth will be blessed. That is the messianic vision. But that blessing will mean things being put right, things being sorted out, the arrogant and powerful being put in their place, and the meek and humble and the oppressed of the world being set right. We have to remember this again and again as we read through Luke's gospel. Luke is showing us in those many stories about Jesus, which are really very familiar to those who are used to through church attendance or whatever, to hearing bits of the story read out. Luke is saying, when you hear Jesus healing this person, when you see Jesus doing something over here or teaching about this, what this is all about is the fulfillment of that song of Mary. This is how it's actually happening, close up and personal, in order that then by the Spirit, after Jesus' death, resurrection and ascension, this may be the theme which Jesus' followers take to the ends of the earth.